everyone, it's Lori. Welcome back to Bazaar Studios. And today I am working on a couple of trivets that I have here. So these were eight inch ceramic tiles that I went ahead and uh, painted. And they each have a beautiful coat of resin on them. So this one's got some shimmer in it. So they came out really nice. However, I was doing a test and I was trying to test two different resins. And what I was trying to do, um, was to find a good one that was really heat resistant for a, you know, a trivet. Um, if you're not familiar with them, is sort of like a giant coaster that you put like pans, hot pans or, and things like that on when you take them out of the oven or off the stove. And there are resins that you can use for that and there are resins that you cannot because they aren't tolerant to that high of a heat. So I was trying to figure out uh, which resin was going to be my favorite for that. However, I did not write down which one was which, and uh, so I decided to make them both decorative tiles, and they're gonna go in easels and be displayed as such instead of being trivets in this case. So what I'm gonna do is I wanted to show you how I was gonna go about finishing the back of it because there is some paint and a little bit around the edge here and a little bit of resin. Um, no drips, it's just dry and it's flat. That should be fairly quick. I went ahead and did one of them already, so what I'm doing is let me turn this around this is just a felt piece of felt and it's black and I'm gonna put it on the back of these and I'm just using a um, paint marker that I have here to outline on my felt so I know where to cut so let me just finish this one I already did one of them this is really quick and pretty simple and straightforward, but if you had never thought of this idea, I thought maybe you might, uh, someone might find it useful. I know for coasters and things, there is adhesive cork that you can get for the backs of the coasters. That is what I use for my coasters, but I think um, going forward, I may do some this way as well. You can get cork for the back of these as well, but I wanted to do something different. So that's why I went with the felt instead. Because they're gonna be standing up in an easel and I thought this would look really nice on the back of it. So now I'm just gonna take my scissors here, cut this out, because I've already outlined, this was the first one that I did before I started recording, just to shorten the length of the video a little bit. So this is a nice felt. It's a higher priced felt. It's not super cheap, but it's not expensive by any means. I mean, it's only felt, so it's not super expensive, but it's not the cheap, cheap stuff either. So it holds together nicely. It doesn't fall apart. So I need to get some sharper scissors up in my studio here because uh, <laughs> it's cutting, but let me do this one real quick and I'll back, be back with you in just a second. Okay, so there we have it. My excess felt, I'm just gonna put this aside. So these should fit perfectly. Oh, there's a little bit of a um, sticker on the back of that. I didn't realize it was on the back. All right, so I'll peel that off. And so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just place this down here. And what I'm gonna use is E6000, if you have never heard of it. It's a nice, strong, clear adhesive glue. It does need about 24 hours to bond. It's clear, it's self-leveling. I like this stuff, it's very smelly. <laughs> but if you crack a window or something, you'll be fine. If you're not doing an awful lot of it at once with it, you'll be fine. So I just do this real quick, just put down right on the back of my tile here, or my trivet, or coasters, whatever you're doing. I put a good amount down. It doesn't have to be completely covered. I'm gonna use this stick here and just sort of spread it out a little bit on the edges. So you wanna make sure it sticks well at the edges. So it's very thick, like I said, but you can spread it and get it to go where you want for the most part. 
I've been using this glue for years. It's one of my most favorite glues to use for a lot of things. It's like an epoxy kind of glue. And I think that's probably why it has such a strong odor. So if you're very sensitive to that kind of thing, maybe you could try a different one, maybe a, like a Gorilla Glue or a Super Glue, I don't know, something like that. Any kind of glue would work for the most part. I'm not sure about like an Elmer's glue or anything though. I don't know if that's strong enough to stick to tile. You want something that's gonna stick to tile, obviously. Okay, so that one's done. Now I'm just gonna take my felt here and place it on and it should be perfect. And you can move this around. You have time to move it if you need to. So you wanna make sure, you know, to press down on all areas and get it completely flat and adhered to your tile. So that's that. See, very simple, but it looks so nice. It's a nice finished look. I like it a lot. Don't put too, too much of the glue down. The stuff is super strong and it spreads out as you push it down and it is self-leveling. So you don't need to drown the entire back of the tile with it. Um, you don't want too much so it seeps out or anything around here. That's why I didn't, when I place it down here out of the tube, I didn't put it too close to the edge because if you do that, it'll seep down over the sides and you'll have a big mess. So kind of do it back a little bit, like a half inch or so. Use a stick or something to spread it out closer to the edge. That way, you know, your felt stays down at the edges. And you have a nice coverage that way. And then, so this one's done. And it looks beautiful. This is just an easel I have around my studio here. You can take these and you just place it in here. Like so. Hopefully you can see this. Like that. So basically, that's the general idea. Let's see if you can see that. So it looks very nice. And then the back is nice and finished with the felt, as opposed to just looking like, a, you know, the back of a tile. So say if someone had this on a table or somewhere where you'd see the back of it, a desk or something, if you were walking by, and um, this way it looks more finished. So you could always take like a business card or a sticker or some sort with your name, company, you know, logo, things like that, and stick it on here as well. It looks awesome. I love it. So like I said, let it dry for like about 24 hours. Just read the instructions on the glue. It's very simple. You can get these in really small tubes or you can get a big tube like this one. This one's uh, 3.7 ounces, so this is the, the larger size. I'm just gonna do this other one here really quick because I had two of them to do today. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments section. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. This glue you can get at any uh, you know, craft store and stuff usually or uh, even home improvement stores like Lowe's and things like that actually sell it. Uh, Amazon, of course. But I really like the look of this. It looks very nice. And of course, I'm using a black felt. You can use any color you'd like. If you want to choose a color that goes better with your painting on whatever you're painting on, a tile or whatever, you can just choose a different color, obviously. These felts are what I said was, um, you know, the, the higher quality. These are the premium felts. And I'm pretty sure I got that at Michael's, which is in the U.S. here. And the size that I used was um, 12 by 18. So I was able to do two tiles. These are 8-inch tiles with one piece. So that's pretty good. I have videos too where I can show you where I showed how I applied the, the felt, I mean, I'm sorry, the cork to the back of the coasters and stuff. So I have videos for that as well. And there we have it. It just looks awesome. If by any chance you do need to, um, it seems like this might be a slightly off a little bit just on this corner, like a little too large. I think I'm just going to go back here with my X-Acto knife 
and just trim that corner a little bit right at the edge and that's it but otherwise it's perfect it looks awesome i love it i'm very happy with it looks good pick the lint off <laughs> and that's it so hooray i'm happy 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 two more are done. I keep calling them trivets, but you, they will be trivets. If you want to do this and use it as a trivet, you can do that as well. Like I said, I forgot what resin I used on these, so I'm going to use these as decorative tiles, but they were intended to be trivets, and so you can do this for those as well. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you again soon on the next video. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye for now.